Civil Engineering is the art of modifying the physical world for the use and benefit of mankind. Civil Engineering is about creating the physical fabric for society to, to live. To me, Civil Engineering is about pushing the boundaries. Uh, everything that is the built environment, Civil Engineers are involved in it somewhere along the line. What you walk on, what you live in, um, how you get your water and power supplies. Your roads, buildings, drainage, electricity, they're all the work of Civil Engineers. For me, this is the best career in the world. The sense of pride and achievement you'll get from engineering is second to none. It's all about having the maths of architecture and working with architects to create something new. It always sort of amuses me really when people talk about architecture. They talk about architects, of course it's engineers. These are the guys that really understand how to make certainly modern buildings work. If one doesn't get that basic skeletal thing right, the basic structure right, elegantly, economically, in, in terms of responding to the brief, the climate, the site, the conditions, using local materials as possible, all those issues, all those are focused on engineering. It's the engineer, at the end of the day, who is the heart of any great building project. Well, I've always been interested in maths and kind of designing and problem solving, and I love working in a team. I have a real interest in kind of structures and the architectural side of it, so that's what led me on to civil engineering. I knew that was what, exactly what I wanted to do. I think you have to have a pride in what you do because the things that you've designed will be appearing on the landscape for everybody to use and everybody to see. When you build projects like St Hankel Station, everything we build are going to be part of society for hundreds of years to come, whether it's a road, a bridge, a railway, whatever it may be. My greatest achievement has got to be St Hankel Station. You know, I, I still get a giddy step when I, when I come into the station and it's just wonderful and I hope to be able to do it all again at some stage in my career, very soon. <laughs> I have a lot of the iconic buildings and structures that you see around you have at their core just one very simple idea and I think that's really powerful and that's really awesome and satisfying. When you get that moment of realisation it's just unbelievable. I was involved in a uh, bridge refurb uh, near my, uh, next to my local actually. I was the construction manager of the refurb works. The fact that I was helping my community basically on my doorstep was the, the best feeling ever. It really hits you here, it's brilliant, you know. You won't get that in accountancy. Civil engineering definitely offers you the opportunity to travel. Um, just recently I've been um, involved in a project which is in India and Calcutta. We're involved in creating them a, a large sports academy, which is rugby pitches, football grounds, um, where they can train and produce uh, sport to a good quality. I can't wait to go back out there and see that the site actually under construction and see the, you know, the smiling faces on the kids. They were so excited about it when I was there in January, and that was just looking at plans. So I can't wait to see them when it's actually started on site. To be able to feel that you're involved in projects, not only the one in India, but projects that we do every day in the UK that are changing people's lives. I thoroughly enjoy my job. Um, if you can go into the office every day and you know, feel excited about what you do because you know that you're creating and designing exciting places for people, um, then that's definitely motivating. In the 21st century, we face some very significant challenges and civil engineers are going to be at the core of those. And they include how do we develop the developing world? How do we provide water for those who need it? How do we deal with issues of climate change? I've done lots of interesting projects. I led the water engineering team on the Terminal 5 project for many years. More recently, I'm the director here responsible for our work on the Olympic Velodrome. But the one that I think is most important to me and most significant is actually setting up this business. You know, I can do so much, any individual can do so much, but if you build an organisation full of fantastic people who are all doing loads of good stuff themselves, then your influence and your ability to do useful stuff is, is much greater. And so in, in a sense, I think that that's been the most rewarding thing that we've done. I spend three quarters of my time out and about, whether it's on building sites or whether it's meet politicians or whether it's dealing with funders or working with design teams. And so, so, so life is varied and, so, and there's a great fun to be had out of human interaction. Um, it's nice to get paid as well. The Institution of Civil Engineers is your friend for life. It's the home of a professional civil engineer. Membership has definitely helped me in the development of my career with the institution. Four or five years ago with gaining my chartership and then my development following on from that. IC is the main qualifying body for civil engineers. It's very important that you can have somewhere that you can turn to that has the answers that you're looking for. The institution is looked to for authoritative and independent advice and as such we provide professional qualifications that are recognised around the world as a sign of dedication and commitment 
and expertise and skill. Once you graduate, you sign up to a training agreement and that sort of dictates how you learn to achieve chartered status, which is kind of a real benchmark of quality and success within the industry. Professional qualifications matter because when you qualify, you join a community of highly qualified, experienced professionals. It doesn't matter if you're aiming for technician, incorporated or chartered, all grades of membership are valued by the IC and in the workplace. The institution is there to look after you as a professional engineer. Through being a member of the graduates and students, it's helped me to meet other people who are in a similar situation to me. We need civil engineers to stand up and be proud of the fact that they're civil engineers and that they're doing something really important for society. Are you ready to build a better world? Are you ready to build a better world? Are you ready to build a better world?